Haloview MC10 rear view camera system is a wireless backup system which only requires power to the display and to the camera. The actual video signal is transmitted wirelessly up to 33 feet. What I like about the MC10 is the screen goes over my normal rear view mirror. So I just drive the same way I normally do. If I want to see what's behind me, I just look at the rear view mirror like normal. This actually straps on around the rear view mirror. And this is actually a front facing camera so that you can record both what's in front of you and what's behind you. And um, you can select which one you want to be the priority here. Notice you don't see as much when the screen, when the video is stretched across the rear view mirror view. Uh, so when backing up, I typically hit this so I can see more of what's around me. You see my basketball goal right there. I have, uh, typically I just rotate this down so that the uh, glare is not that bad. And when I want to use it as a normal rear view mirror, I can turn the screen off and just configure it how I want to, to be able to see that. But up like that, you can see there's some glare. I just kind of like angle it down so there's no glare. I ran the power wire up here, tucked up underneath the ceiling, around uh, this column here, right along here, behind this weather stripping, down uh, underneath the steering wheel, and then it co comes out over here um, where I have you know, my tire pressure monitor and some other charging situations. In addition to see at the back, I can swipe up and turn the audio on for the back there. So if someone's talking, I can hear what they're saying and turn it off. I can also adjust where exactly in uh, the frame of that bigger uh, video feed I want to see as part of my rear view mirror version. That helps me judge how far cars are away from my trailer and know whether it's safe to change lanes or not. There's other settings you can do to turn on um, you know, if you want to have some lines on. Now you have lines if you care about seeing that. go back to playback up here and actually see what's been recorded if I want to so you can see kind of what it looks like at night sometimes It does have a night vision mode. You see it kind of switching back and forth sometimes in these dust situations. The first version that I made, I found an old suction cup for a cell phone and built my own little mount that attached to it and used that to attach it to the ceiling right above the window and I would lower it down when we needed to move and then raise it uh, back up when we got to our destination. I just plugged the uh, camera into the 12 volt socket near the TV and uh, turned it on manually when we um, needed to go. It's a good idea to put some electrical tape over the infrared lights so they don't glare back against the window when you're driving at night. This is what it looks like if you don't cover up the infrared lights when the night vision comes on. Eventually I got tired of walking back into my trailer to turn the camera on and off. So when I installed my DC to DC charger, I decided to install a relay which would detect um, when my tow vehicle is connected and then turn on the camera 
only when my tow vehicle was connected to the trailer. Eventually I decided to mount it externally because I got tired of raising it and lowering it and to help with the glare from other headlights coming at night. Because I don't have to worry about window glare anymore, I was able to remove the electrical tape from the night vision lights and I get much better night vision now. To accomplish this, I ordered the mount from Halo View, which has you mounting the camera inside it and then it has a strong magnet that uh, you then attach that magnet using VHB double-sided tape to your trailer and then your camera magnetizes to that magnet. I also needed a cable gland so that I could run the wiring through the fiberglass shell and not have any leaks. I first mounted the magnet using VHB tape and cleaning it first with alcohol as the direction state. Then I found the spot I want to drill through and I accidentally did hit a piece of my Romax wire so be careful drilling through this that you don't hit some wiring that's there. I added some butyl tape around the opening to help seal it up and eventually got the gland installed. I ran the wire through the gland as you can see coming out the other side. For extra waterproofness, I did add some silicon to where the wire entered the gland. For comparison, here's what it looks like at night now when driving around. We have really enjoyed our Halo View MC10 and would thoroughly recommend it to anyone with a small camper.